What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, the one that never knows best, bringing you a Dragon Ball Fighters video, but not necessarily gameplay today. We're doing a tier list, but not your regular Degla tier list. I know between me just saying that in the title, I'm not sure what I'm titling this video just yet, but you might be a bit confused. But let's get into it. Um, so over here we have a tweet from Kyle's King that says, "Someone be wholesome and just make a tier list of the characters you find the most fun to play." Now, tier lists aren't something that I do a lot on this channel, and I used to do like actual like which characters are the strongest in the game from time to time, but. I haven't done that in a minute. I did set a light goal on a video a while back, but I didn't hit the light goal, so y'all must not wanted it that bad. That being said, I'll give y'all a second chance if this video gets 3,000 likes, which it probably won't, because y'all yeah, ain't about it, about it. I'll do an actual tier list of where I think characters rank in terms of how good they are in the game right now. But until then, we're gonna make a tier list based on how fun I think the characters in the game are to play. I have played every character in the game at some point, some way more than others, but let's get it popping. All right, so check. Here we are over on tiermaker.com for a DBFZ tier list. But let's go ahead and rename these tiers instead of S A B C D. Let's go uh, buckets of fun, uh, pretty fun, uh, enjoyable. Maybe I'll change these if I think it's something a little bit more creative. Meh, uh, not fun at all. And then let's create a new tier right below this one. Hold on, let's just add a row below. Um, I would rather watch paint dry. Should be good enough. Let's change the color to, I don't know, white, I guess. So uh, obviously I have a decent handful of characters that I actually enjoy pl playing in this game. Some of them might actually surprise you. Some of them shouldn't if you're a regular watching videos. Uh, but we could just go, I guess, in the order that these characters are presented. Uh, and I'm not gonna lie. 16 is going in and I would rather watch Pain Dry. Android 16 has been one of my least favorite characters, one of the least interesting characters in this game to me since it released. Uh, he was pretty popular at one point when he was considered the best character in the game. <laughs> if if y'all went around back in season one when he got hard knocked down off of his command grab anywhere on screen into 50-50. Well, so into better than 50-50. And then the level three mix and when, back when his A assist was OD. And yeah, it's... Uh, it, it was brutal, but I, I never found the character that that cool or that fun. And Android 16 as a character has never been that cool to me anyway. We have Android 17, pretty fun. Android 18, buckets of fun. Obviously one of my favorite characters in the game. Majin 21, buckets of fun. Bardock, I'm not gonna lie, what used to be buckets of fun for me, but I'll be honest, man. Um, I feel like Bardock is a character who hasn't evolved or changed very much um, since his original release. And even though you can say that about some other characters right now, I, I just think the way the game is played right now, Bardock just doesn't really hang with them a, a, as well, which makes him a little bit less fun to play. He's kind of like Goku Black, where, let me, let me just go grab Goku Black real quick. I still enjoy Goku Black, but he used to be like an S tier character for me. But back when the game was a lot more simple um, and was played very differently, these characters were, were more fun and more interesting. And also Bardock was kind of like a pioneer in a lot of ways. He He's the kind of character who like, he, for better or worse, he's the reason that we have things like uh, Blue Goku getting EX Elbow, or better yet, better examples would be like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Lariat, or uh, Base Goku Elbow, or uh, lab, lab Coat Spin and stuff like that. This this was the, the original character who defined what a Lariat is in DBFZ, and obviously things are far beyond what they were when he was introduced. But yeah, Bardock's going in the pretty fun tier. I still like punching people up with Lariat. Um, the, the spin still feels pretty satisfying, but less satisfying than it used to because that move is a lot clunkier than it used to be. It used to be a lot smoother, and again, he was more fun for that reason as well. Obviously, the level three used to be better. Double supers are another thing that used to make that character a lot more fun, and same thing goes with Goku Black. Obviously, double supers aren't a thing that you really do for the most part in DBMZ anymore. Certain characters like Super Saiyan Goku still have it. Uh, obviously, characters like Broly can still do level three into a level one or into a second level three. Yamcha can still do his spirit ball into level three. So there are some exceptions to the rule, and some characters have level twos, and Bardock is one of those characters. Um, but yeah, there are just certain mechanics that don't work the same way they used to. There are just certain ways that moves have evolved in the game. And Bardock's just kind of been left behind. Obviously, I still love the character a lot. He's still one of my favorite characters. But uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's not as fun as he used to be, in my opinion. Same thing goes for Goku Black. Next, we have Beerus. Uh, Beerus is enjoyable. I don't play him that much. He's not really for me. I might even put him in meh here, to be honest. He's 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 got some cool stuff that I've never bothered learning, but that's just because I just don't like Beerus that much as a character. I, I'm gonna put some respect on Beerus. I'm gonna throw him in enjoyable. I felt like if I ever were to put some time and learn the character properly, I probably would like him a lot more. Also, I should get these ads out of here getting free promo. Y'all ain't paying me for this. Hi, Rihanna. But anyway, uh, DBS Broly. I'm not gonna lie, his buckets of fun. Divas Broly is a bucket of fun character, and I don't even like grapplers, but Broly's just a very satisfying character to play. Not this one, however. I would rather watch paint dry. Um, but yeah, 
uh grapplers usually not not my forte but you know he's he's sick dominican broly uh goes ham then we have captain ginyu not fun for me at all the thing is ginyu's gameplay isn't man, maybe i should put him in math because his gameplay isn't that bad but it's the fact that it's ginyu in the ginyu force that for me personally uh, brings it down a lot. Obviously, this is a, a very biased and very subjective thing. There's still like all tier lists are, but this one in particular is extremely much so. Um, but I don't like Ginyu and I don't like the Ginyu Force, and that obviously plays a large part in how much I enjoy a character. The gameplay obviously does matter a lot as well, but the, the design and the personality of the character also matters to me a lot. And for me, the design and the personality of Ginyu and the Ginyu Force brings down my enjoyment of playing those characters a lot. Uh, Cell is pretty fun. Uh, yeah, Cooler is eh. Uh, Frieza is uh, meh. Uh, I liked Frieza a lot when the game first came out, but uh, uh, Gogeta Blue, as much as I hate Gogeta Blue, um, he's actually become way more fun to play, and I, I can kind of understand why people. I still think he's really whack in a lot of ways uh, and, and pretty ugly because I hate Super Saiyan Blue. But uh, the biggest reason why I didn't play Gogeta Blue when he first released is because he felt really clunky and slow, uh, and obviously he wasn't very strong. And I love Gogeta. If, I, if it was Super Saiyan Gogeta, I probably would have played him more. But uh, I, I, he, just, he just didn't feel that good in the hands. They've changed his frame data a bit and, and, and made some of his moves better. And obviously, he's one of the best characters in the game. He's like a top five character, top four character right now. Um, he's not like buckets of fun for me, but I, I don't have a horrible time when I have to play him in a copycat video and stuff. Adult Gohan, pretty fun. He'd be buckets of fun if I was better with him, but he's, he's pretty fun. King Gohan, meh. GT Goku was pretty enjoyable for me. Blue Goku is enjoyable enough for me. Super Saiyan Goku is very meh. Uh, UI Goku, uh, nah. base Goku, uh, eh, you know what I'm saying? Go Tanks is actually pretty fun. Go Tanks has some really sick combos, a lot of which I haven't learned, and some of which I, I probably couldn't do right now if I tried, even though I did learn them at some point. But uh, combos, combos are why you play this character. Combos and Ghost Oki. Granted, the Ghost Oki is nerfed. It is still possible in some scenarios, but it's not nearly as powerful as it once was. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking over here at Adult Gohan. Like Adult Gohan should be up here, but I don't, I don't know how to do level seven stuff. And uh, I don't I don't play him very often and then like you know, leg loops are fun and all and the characters is fun in general But uh, he, he's I, I can't put him up here because I don't know how to do all the super super fun stuff But he he, he would be like in the middle. You know what I'm saying a uh, hit is like it's fun I'm not gonna lie one excuse me one of the most satisfying things to do In Dragon Ball fighters is to just float around or just jump and just dare somebody to super dash and then you just JS and then counter it and then you get a full combo off it. I love it, man. The only thing that sucks is that when you're playing it, some people they're like, well, I'm just not gonna super dash, right? <laughs> or people are a little bit smarter about how they super dash. They'll, well, they'll throw it in a really random unexpected spot or at least cover themselves up in the assist or something. But uh, that was one of the biggest reasons why I played hit was to counter super dash because it's just really fun. It's super satisfying. It's one of the characters who makes it really easy to get a full combo punish off of super dashing in the air. Obviously you have characters like lab coat and whatnot who can do that with spin and other characters who have anti-air moves. Um, but uh, it's still I, I think it's still more fun with hit than pretty much any character It's also easier with hit than any character because it's just one button. You just you just push s uh, Whereas at least with a character like lab coat, even though she has a really good move in 214 L You do have to do a whole quarter circle motion plus a button it takes a little bit more time and hit you just boom, push x and there you go uh, Janemba is pretty fun uh, Jiren, I, you are the top of I would rather watch paint dry. Oh my God. Uh, Kefla is enjoyable. She's honestly one of the more boring characters in the game for a lot of people. Actually, I realize I'm not putting anyone in the not fun at all tier. Maybe I should just delete the tier altogether. Let's just delete it altogether. Um, yeah. Anyway, Kefla is a character that I was really excited when she got added to the game, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie. She's she's like Bardock in a lot of ways, and in some ways she's better than Bardock. But I don't, she's she's just okay. She's just okay, or, or I guess slightly better than okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kid Boo, man, Krillin is pretty enjoyable. I I would rather watch Paint Dry than play Boo or Roshi. I'm not going to lie, though. Roshi is a character who's got some some sorcery to him. He reminds me a lot of Krillin, where I always felt like Krillin was really strong and underplayed and Krillin's gotten stronger and stronger and stronger. He's always had some really tricky stuff and you never really get to see Krillin players. They've become a little bit more popular now, especially with Krillin becoming a little bit stronger, and a little bit more viable. Um, but Krillin's got some really, really dope stuff. I think Roshi is really whack as a character, like in the series. I don't like Roshi at all, and I don't like playing the character. I don't find him fun so much so that I remember when he released, I did a couple videos playing him. I was like, yeah, 
after like my third video, I was like, I, I was going to do like a whole week of Roshi and I, I just couldn't do it because I just was not feeling the character at all. But I've seen him in the hands of some really nasty players. Uh, not very many, but I know like Fulty has like a really crazy Roshi and um, he's, he's, he's got some 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 kind of sick, slick stuff to him. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I will get credit where credit is due on that one, but for the most part, it, it, you ain't catch me playing him. That's for sure. Uh, then we have Nappa. Would rather watch paint dry. Piccolo was very meh. I'm sorry. Uh, baby is pretty fun. Maybe even buckets of fun. He you know, baby is buckets of fun. I'm just out of out of shape and out of practice with the character. But like, and when you can do all his loops and stuff, he's got some really sick, really crazy combos. He's really really dope. Tien is trunks. He's he's fun, but like. I have half like obviously this is my favorite character in the entire game right I play him on every team no matter what I, he's so bad that I want to put him in pretty fun but like he, he, he look he must have something that's the reason why I keep playing him right uh then you have blue Vegeta super Saiyan Vegeta I, I I like all of the Vegetas to some degree but base Vegeta is one of the most fun characters in the game for show for show uh uh uh, 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 Videl is buckets of fun. Yamcha is he's yeah, he's he's uh, 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 I'm gonna go Matt because I don't know the cool Yamcha stuff. He's got some cool stuff, but I don't know. Zamas is pretty fun. I'll put Zamas in pretty fun. He's buckets of fun, probably if you know the better combos. And then Gogeta 4 is pretty fun and Lab Coat. Y'all y'all not gonna like this, man. But Lab Coat, obviously these aren't in any particular order, but I'm gonna go ahead and move my favorites up here just cause. Um Lab Coat is an incredibly fun character to me. I know people hate this character so much because she was so broken on release and she's still very, very strong, but I love her design. I I always love Lab Coat's design. I was actually pretty disappointed when DBFZ released and I found out that Manja 21 was a playable version instead of, of Lab Coat. Um, not because I didn't like the Manja version, I do, and I, I even as her game, even uh, as as it pertains to her gameplay, I like, and I've played her since the game has released, uh, on and off, and you know, with different teams and whatnot. She's always been a character like in my in my pool that I pick from. Uh, but I like the lab code design more. And so when she got released, like if y'all remember, y'all can go back, check the stream footage, check the videos, whatever. I was one of the very few people that was like, nah, bro, this is sick. I'm hype. I can't wait. And then when she got revealed, I was like, uh oh, this character looks stupid. And then when she came out, I was like, yeah, this character is so much fun. So from the get go, I've been rooting for lab code. I, I love her. I, her. Her design is sick. Her animations are sick. She's super fun. I love her combos. Obviously, she's ridiculously strong and I just have a, an incredible time playing her. Also, she's like my saving grace against, well, well. Where is he? You know, so uh, it, it's like if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I could still play the game right now on a regular basis because the fusion onslaught is real. It is here. And uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't want the video to be super long. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do. But um, yeah, I think this is how I'm feeling right now. If you ask me on any given day, my mind could change on this. Like I said, some characters could be moved up or down based on just what I'm personally capable of doing with the characters. But I'm just with the copycat challenge. You guys have seen me play a variety of these and you can see the amount of fun I have when I'm playing one versus another. And obviously these are characters that I have the least amount of fun playing, particularly Jiren and Fat Boo. Those are probably the characters I have the least amount of fun playing when I do have to play them. Um, yeah. And then obviously these ones are the ones that I enjoy the most. Uh, I, I feel like I should move Bardock and Goku Black up just because they're the ones I play more often than, than everyone else. Cause these are obviously like you look at these characters, these are all ones that I play a decent amount except for, I guess, kind of DBS Broly and Baby. I've played a decent amount of Baby because of Copycat uh, lately, and I've been, same thing goes for DBS Broly, I guess. If you take out these two, um, and then those are the characters like I just play a lot, and then you just add in uh, Bardock and Goku Black, and those are like my, my main rotational characters. Um, but yeah, man, like I said, if anyone's is going too long, uh, let me know your thoughts and how you feeling. And if you got a tier list, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can stay tuned for all this content I'm bringing you. And with all of being said, so much off today, remember, as it can happen to you, swing the bat. Later.